Well, if you have seen our video of the Audi A4, the Hush and Plush ride, this is the Audi A6. I will call it the Hush and Plush Pro Plus because I'm reserving the Pro Max for the Audi A8L. Well, that gives you an idea how plush and hush this ride is. But does it really compare with the BMW 5 Series or the Mercedes-Benz Long Wheel E-Class or the Jaguar XF or the Volvo S90? Well, its toughest competition will definitely be the BMW 5 Series and the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Long Wheel Base. So this is the Audi A6. I'm Nikhil Chavla. You're watching the Unbiased Blog Talk Tech and let's get started. Up front, you can see the huge grill. It's really, really big. I mean, if you thought BMW has big grills, just look at this. This is mammoth. All the chrome around the grill and inside the fins, everything is like chrome laden. The logos are chrome laden. Sharper edges all around the car. Now, it's the headlamps are new and they look really, really nice. Be it the industry leading matrix LED lights or the ones that you have now on this one, they are really, really nice, sharper, and definitely a delight to look at. The bonnet is bolder with these grooves over on the top. A lot of chrome detailing on the bumper you can see this on the front and you can see the sensors running across there's no front camera in this car but you do get park assist which really is helpful if you're trying to park this car because this is a long car we're talking about the dimension this car has grown in proportion it's longer taller and wider so on the side you can see this uh, headlights are running across here the wraparound headlights coming to, into the fender and then these lines running across the wheels are big they're 18 inches wheel and they're high profile tires so they fill up the arches really well because this car can accommodate up to 22 inches of wheels but this one is at 18 inches and still there's a lot of space and the good thing is they come up with high profile tires and how does it handle that we'll talk about in the ride handling the door handles and the side body look similar but it's longer now wider now and i do miss the handles of the a4 that goes up this one is just straight like a regular handle on the a4 they went up and that was really nice and you know gave a classy feel to it and differentiator and similarly or vms over here then i was talking about the lines on the side so this one is running across the car then you can see these on the doors and the running road this look really nice but good thing is that they have maintained the chrome here if it's missing from the running board there's a lot of chrome detailing on the windows and you can see the quarter panel glass is also really really huge the windows are huge because of the good wheelbase over here what i really missed on this car is a panoramic sunroof so if it had a bigger sunroof or a panoramic sunroof the rear passenger would have felt more airy and would have loved it that's all right so right at the back you can see the changes drastically different you can see this chrome line running from the lights and running towards the other light so it's running across the boot of the car which looks really really nice and premium you can see it's audi a6 and we are driving the 45 tfsi engine which is a petrol engine and sadly that's the only option that you get in india you only get a petrol option there's no diesel options and there are no other options like hybrid options in india so you get a 45 tfsi Premium Plus and a technology pack. Only two variants. We have the technology, the top model. Similarly, there are a lot of sensors on the rear bumper too. And also a camera to help you, you know, drive the car safely. Though you don't have a front camera for, you know, easy maneuverability, but you do have a lane assist camera. And we'll talk about it in detail when we're driving the car. I also specifically like this, you know, the lid kind of a thing on the board which gives you like a integrated spoiler kind of a feel which looks really really nice adds to the sportiness of the car and then again this Thor hammer kind of a light which in a way reminds you of the Volvo S90 Thor hammer lights on the front and you can see a lot of chrome detailing at the bottom also so you can see this chrome elements running across the bumper at the bottom also you can see the fake exhaust tips over here and then in the center there are a lot of chrome elements and then there are these reflectors now let's open the boot before we get inside we'll check out the boot and let's see how much space does it have so electrically operated boot which is really nice and it's something that you would expect from a6 car a luxury car of this size and segment and you can see this is a mammoth boot i mean i can literally get inside and the best part while the counterparts the competition gives you a good amount of boot size they eat up space with the spare tire over here it's integrated really well. It's inside. You don't have to worry about it. It doesn't eat up even a centimeter of space. Now, if you want to open and see how much space does it have inside, you also have a hook very cleverly placed. You know, you don't have to hold it. Just hook it up. See the spare tire, which is there. Obviously, it's a space saver. You get all your tools there. And then there is a 12 volt charger if you want to put an ice box or something like that. So a lot of boot space around.
so when it's on the inside that you go wow it's just beautiful it's completely new it's so nice so plush so premium and so much of technology and as a technology enthusiast i just love it you know the amount of screens you have it's the maximum you will see in this segment or the virtual cockpit screen right up front the multimedia interface right here and even a digital display for your aircon control so screens all over for you then this premium mix of piano black this aluminium brush around this wood texture vents running across the dashboard it's just beautiful i think audi started this whole thing of the vents running across the dashboard and looks beautiful and i seriously love how comfortable this car is to sit it's like a plus sofa you sitting on it's just really nice comfortable seating there then the center console is really very well placed you know your arm sits in the right place your gear level is right here really really well to do and then this space for you to keep your cup holders this lighter slot and also a slot for your keys which most of the cars lack you have the armrest where you get the wireless charger i've already put my phone there in the wireless charging you, there's some space for you to keep your airpods and others there are two usb ports and a sd card reader but you miss out on type c ports there's no type c port in this car so if you got the latest iphone and you got the type c cable with it you can't charge it you just have to go the wireless way then let's talk about the steering this is really nice chunky steering very futuristic you know this the way it's going and the design of the squarish elements here i you know i just love holding it from here also though it's not advisable but you know sometimes you're just sitting and you hold it it's really really nice to do that then this wooden panel across the door and i love it how it they've you know integrated the memory seat buttons in this silver panel the buttons for the headlights are digital now there's no knob it's just like a digital touch button which says auto you know front rear and defogger the only thing you know not digital here are the fuel gauge and the temperature above the virtual cockpit you also has this little tiny display which shows if the seat belt is on if the you know parking brake is on so all these are there what i feel that the virtual cockpit of audi has not grown over the years you know it hasn't progressed the way it should have been i would have loved it to see more ways to interact with it it's just the same two meters or you know the digital meters and the map i think it's time for audi to evolve what do you guys think you know let us know in the comment section should audi rework on the virtual cockpit because they were the first to bring it now it's time to you know take it to the next level enhances and bring the next version out though even though it's latest multimedia interface from the audi and uh, the virtual cockpit's latest version i think still something has to be done about it so that it feels more intuitive and more you know enjoyable now first of all the multimedia interface is really slick and smooth and you can do everything through the touch there's no way to manually control other than the volume control which is right here so you can control volume switch it on and off but other than that everything has to be done either by voice which is good because from the audi a4 i think the a6 voice integration is better because you know i could ask the car to lower the temperature and all it got it in one go which was nice the navigation is also nice it has all 3d buildings and everything from india it felt really nice in delhi that haptic feedback gives you a physical touch also but again then i feel a mix of digital and analog buttons makes more sense because specifically for the air conditioner either i go with voice or i have to look down and see the temperature controls which is not really a good way to go about it if i had like a physical button to you know control the temperature it would have been easier curtain controls are right here you just press the button and you know the curtain goes up and down you have the park assist button engine auto cut off button and of course the power on off button so four climate control ac here the steering as i said feels really nice there are good amount of buttons over here also you can control you know the multimedia interface from the right side and the virtual cockpit from the left side you can change views and what not and then the paddle shifter feels really nice with that you know aluminum finish and feel sturdy then you have got speed limiter and everything here and lot of space under the steering also you can put like you know, this is a vest here you can also keep a wallet medical kit what not there's a lot of space it goes really deep there are a lot of good space for bottle holders and a big glove box with light integrated in it and it is really big to be honest things that i feel are missing that really really turns me off are no sunglasses holder i don't know why audi why i mean how many sunglasses you want me to lose so there's no sunglasses holder the roof is not panoramic so only the front passengers enjoy the sunroof otherwise you can't enjoy it at the rear which is a sad part one thing that blew me apart was the bang and alexson speaker system it is almost two dozen of speakers inside giving you orchestra sound first of all the car is so silent and when you add that bang and alexson orchestra sound system it's like sitting in an orchestra or concert hall and you're just enjoying the sound i would advise not to get lost in it and keep safe but then to keep you safe there's also lane assist feature that we we'll talk when we drive so now let's move at the back and see what is and how it is at the back so at the rear is 
where you're really most comfortable at. It's really, really nice plush and you can open the armrest. You can, you know, really put your arms here and you can, you know, have a cup holder. You can keep your stuff here. You can keep your phone here. A lot of space and you feel really comfortable. There's really good amount of headroom knee room and leg room and you can put your feet under the front seat it's really really comfortable good detailing of wood and silvers running across here two ac ones at the back one in the center one on the pillars so the air coming to you right where you need it also you have your own climate control for both the passengers so you have your controls here you can even switch it off and you can select it's all touch again then you get two usb ports again and a lighter port but is it comfortable for three people i really doubt it because you know the central tunnel is huge even though it's not a quattro but this is really huge so i think it's best for two and three if it's a kid or maybe it's very short journey it's not even like a few kilometers to be honest just for the sake of it somebody can sit in the center seat because it's just comfortable for two people things that i feel that are missing here is like the curtains are manual i mean this is the a6 so i would have expected like automated curtains going with the window but that's something that is missing and you can even pull the seats from here so if you want to lower down the seats to keep stuff even increase the boot space you can do that you can also you know easily access stuff from here both the seats can go down and you can even lock them with a key so there are key holes to you know lock those i use a fixed seat comfortable seats lot of safety option of course a lot of air bags on it so the front seats and the rear seats are both comfortable so that's what you know balances out this is a car that you can drive around in and you can sit at the back also it's a very comfortable car in both the seats in all the four seats i would say and specifically i really like the you know the whole atmosphere it creates at night the ambient lighting is really nice one thing that i really really loved is you know these lights on the seat belts holder so when you have to buckle up you don't have to fiddle around and find those seat belt holders it's their light you know illuminating on the borders which is really really nice to look at really actual luxurious feel and it's something that you know i haven't seen in the counterpart so which really really adds to it again a lot of good speaker system at the rear on the rear doors also so on the front seat what i think is i would have loved massages obviously they're not there i would have loved seat kinetics it's not there and something very basic like you know extendable thigh support or a little bit of more thigh support could have been there but that is also missing that's the only down point of the seats in the front other than that i think it's a perfect seating position really nice to sit at and enjoy the car so now let's get out of the car and get driving and see what's under the hood so now let's start the drive of audi a6 and see how it performs i've already given you you know bits and pieces of how it drives and how it performs we are driving the petrol version that is the only version available in india it's a 2 liter engine and it's really really nice to drive and even though it lacks air suspension or active dampeners it is a very very comfortable car to drive whether it's bumps or you know roads that are rough you can drive it very comfortably you hardly feel any bumps inside right now also we are on a little rough terrain and there are a lot of bumps on the street but i am sure you're not able to feel it or you can even not hear it because it's not even audible inside it's so hush so there are two options you can drive it in the drive mode or you can put it in sports mode and and then you also have the audi drive select option where you can select from different modes the revs are getting harder in the sports mode and you can hear that grunt of the engine still very light but still you feel that the car is performing to the limits when you're in sports mode with dynamics activated i usually prefer driving in drive mode unless and until i really need to test the car i'm just gonna go through a huge speed breaker and you will feel how different it feels when you're in an audi you know these pumps are really subdued thanks to the great suspension though you lack active suspension or dampeners but audi has done a great job and i think unless and until you rev it greater than 4000 rpm you won't even hear the engine is running it's so smooth and so refined so it's uh, mated to the dsg7 gear shifter which is really really crisp and nice to you know drive around so talking about the turning capabilities of the car because it's a long car it's i would not say it's like really long like a long wheel base but still it's long by any standard and that wheel base is long so you might have to reverse in most of occasions when you're trying to you know take a u turn or turn around the car so that is something that you have to live with when you have a long car like a a6 or an a8 so another great feature that i liked about the car is lane assist i know it's a polarizing feature some people would definitely hate it some people would love it and i think it's an a8 for the driver it really helps the driver to keep in lane specifically you know in india we don't follow lane driving most of us but it's good to be in lane at this car is like that nagging friend would 
which will make sure that you're driving in the right lane. So as soon as you try to turn right or left, and if you're not in the lane, the steering will take control and would put it back. We tried, we took our hands off the steering for a few seconds. It took it like to left or right, wherever the lane was, and reminded us that our hands are off the steering and we need to give it attention. So attention assist also jumped in and reminded us that, you know, I need to take control of the steering, which was great. And the lane assist, as I said, it's a very, very nifty feature, which really adds on to, you know, the safety features of the car. So under the hood, you get 1984cc, four cylinder turbo petrol engine, which is like a two liter engine, to be honest. And it is mated with a seven speed dual clutch auto transmission. And this engine turns out 370 Newton meters of torque with 245 bhp and also you get you know electronically controlled steering so you can move it up and down left and right seat adjustment you can you know really play around with it and lumbar support and everything yes again i've mentioned that you miss out on the ventilated seats and seat massaging functions if you want all that i think you should go for the audi a8 or a8l so in terms of safety feature you get loads of airbags like six airbags you get abs abd evdl and loads of safety features like traction control brake assist electronic stability anti-lock braking system the vehicle also offers rear anti-roll bars speed sensitive steering four wheel independent suspension and that really adds to keeping a vehicle safe we have driven the Audi A6, we've given you an overview of how it performs, how it drives, how it looks, how it feels, what are the technology features, safety features. Now it boils down to the final verdict. How is the car? Should you get it? How does it compare to the competition? First of all, this is the Audi A6 45 TFSI, which is the petrol engine that you get in India. And there are only two variants to it, which is the premium plus and the technology variant. We are driving the technology and it comes around 61 lakh rupees ex showroom. And I think it'll cost you around 70 lakhs on road. And if you go for the premium plus, the lower variant, you get for 58 lakh rupees ex showroom in India. And if you go for the premium plus version, you will get it for 57 lakh rupees ex showroom in India. And obviously it will differentiate from state to state and your road taxes, but on the whole, that's the price. Now the question is, how does it compare to the competition? I think the Audi A6 sits very well between the BMW and the Mercedes because there was a gap. BMW 5 Series is a driver's car. On the other hand, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class long wheelbase is more of a car that you would be driven around in, a chauffeur-driven car because of the long wheelbase and all the features that you get at the rear seat. On the other hand, Audi A6 is really comfortable on the driver's side, on the back, it's like a car that is a complete package, you know. I would not say that BMW or Mercedes are not complete package, but it's just the perception of the brand and the perception of the cars that the BMW 5 Series is a better driver's car and the Mercedes-Benz E-Class long wheelbase is more of a chauffeur-driven car. On the other hand, the Audi A6 really fills the gap, you know, by being both, you know. You can drive it around, you can be sitting at the back and it, it's something that, you know, Audi customers get attracted to because, you know, whether you're sitting at the back or driving it, it really feels really, really nice to do that. Not that the BMWs or the Mercedes are lacking any of the features but it's just that there was a gap to be filled which you know in a way audi fills in and i'm sure the audi fans and audi enthusiasts and audi buyers would agree to it that you know it has its own niche it has its own feature set that really attract towards the car so again like if you are preferring a executive class car you're looking out for i would suggest drive all the options available decide for yourself definitely the audi a6 with its set of features and great interior and these technology features definitely is an attractive proposition that you should look at and definitely give it a go so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed our video on the talk tech series of the unbiased blog if you enjoyed watching the video please hit the like button subscribe to our channel thanks for watching the unbiased blog